Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you guys how to connect a PS4 controller to your PC completely wirelessly running the Bayonet Windows 11 in 2022. So now let's jump with the video. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna open up the uh, setting and then we're gonna type in Bluetooth because this is a completely wireless method. So that's why we're gonna go uh, stay to Bluetooth. After that, we're gonna tap on add device and then you're gonna tap on Bluetooth, the first option right here. So after you tap on that, now you're gonna go back to your controller and now you're gonna hold the share and the position button. So you're just gonna hold them down for like about three seconds then you're gonna see it's gonna start flashing just like this just give it a few seconds until you see wireless controller boom just like that and now you're just gonna tap on that you're gonna see it will connect within few seconds and now you're gonna click on done after that that's it now the thing is now if you just do anything as you said the controller is not gonna work so that's why there's a software we need to download it's called the ds4 for windows to get the link you're just gonna open up my discord server and make sure you join using the link in the description or just go to discord.io slash prime tech you're gonna see then you're gonna tap on links and you're gonna see this is the uh, uh, latest one. You're just gonna tap on that and then you're gonna click on yep. Yes. After that, you're just gonna open it up. So you're gonna see something like this. And make sure when you get this, make sure you always get the uh, uh, latest one. So for the, for until today, January 12th is the 3.0.18 is the la uh, latest one. So now you're just gonna go down until you see all this file. There's only one file you need to download and that's the zip. So for me, it's an Amazon 64 bit. So that's, I'm just gonna tap on the second one. So you're just going to do the same thing, depending on what computer you got. After that, you're just going to click on save. You're going to see, you're going to start downloading. And also, this is a, a, a really small file, so that's, it's not going to take time. After that, you can open it up. You're going to see, it, it'll look something like this. Or, or we can just do this, and it'll just create extra file. I think it'll be a, a really helpful like this. Now, you're just going to close all the other stuff, because the other stuff we need, the only thing we need is here. Now, we're just going to tap on that, yes, for Windows, and now we're just going to install it as you said it's pretty simple so you're just gonna tap on the blue one then you're gonna click on it and now you're gonna see something like this like this so if you're running the windows 11 this is the problem that you might gonna have uh, that you need to install dot net so make sure you click on yes and now it's about to this page right here what we need is the run desktop app we're gonna click on download 64 bit and now we're gonna click on save now we're just gonna run this so open it up and click on install, click on yes. When it's downloading, it is going to... So this is only for Windows 11. Restart, you go on the start menu, click on power and then click on restart. And now it is going to open up the DS4 Windows again. As you said, it's pretty simple. Now you're going to see something like this. And now, now we need to follow uh, this step right here. So install one, we're just going to install that. So it is going to uh, tell us to install something. Click on I accept and then click on install. It can take some time so that's why i have some patience and now you're gonna click on finish and boom just like that and now this is for a step two if you're running like a older version and for a step three already did that it just connect via a bluetooth if that is done now we're gonna click on finish and now we're gonna see if you go to a controller we're gonna see no controller we're gonna close up ds4 windows and now we're gonna open it again and this is the thing you guys need to do if you don't do this your controller is not gonna show up we're gonna go back and we're gonna launch the ds4 windows again and then if you see now the controller will show up now we're gonna see your controller will it, it change the light color so now we're gonna see now on the connection you're gonna see it, this is gonna connected by bluetooth so that's why it's completely wireless as you can see so there's no cable and now if you just hold on the flash button you're gonna see the uh, menu right here so th uh, that means you know that it's actually work and now with also this so there's a, a two things you can change one is the uh, a light color right this so if you want you just gonna tap on that and now we're gonna see, make sure you select is custom color. And now we're gonna see this uh, menu will pop up with all the color. You can actually change all of this color. And then as you said, you can actually customize it. It's pretty cool. So I'll just do this. After that, you're gonna see, it's gonna change automatically. So it didn't even do anything. After after you change this, so far just give it a few seconds and boom. As you can see, it will change it automatically. But that is done now, we're gonna cross it out. And now we're gonna go on the next one is profile. And we're gonna click on new. And you're gonna see it will just show something like this. Just click on OK or cancel. In that it doesn't matter. And now you're gonna see it will show you something like this. This is your computer will think this is the Xbox 360 controller. So you actually don't need to do anything. But if you are going for a specific game, so if you aim to play like a better and that don't support controller, you can actually just uh, customize your controller as uh, like a keyboard. So with this, it's just WASD. You can just uh, customize like that. So that's just pretty cool. So make sure after you customize it, make sure you, you give it a name. So I'll just like you type in random stuff and then make sure you click on save. 
and now we're gonna go on the control and then you're gonna uh, change the uh, profile just change it to that the uh, thing we did and you're gonna see it will just change that pretty quickly after that minimize this and so now i'll just quickly open up steam to uh, uh, give you guys example you're gonna see now uh, uh, we're on the steam you're gonna see the controller already uh, got uh, detected and now so before i do anything go on the setting then go on the controller setting to see if we, uh, everything is connected and now in the bottom you're gonna see so the pc thing this is the xbox 360 controller it make, makes sense because the windows thing this is the xbox controller but things we got a ps4 controller so that is pretty cool and this is the one time software you need to download you don't need to download this like a, a, every time it's, it's just one time and then also if you go to identify you're gonna see it didn't say b -b 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 vibrating so all the uh, uh, vibrating stuff will work and also with the ps4 controller you're gonna see this track you can actually use this as a, a mouse so that is also pretty cool so now if you just go in the store go in the library you're gonna see it, it just it just it really just work as you can say pretty simple and also also if you go on the steam there's a good thing about steam that if your if your game is compatible it will say it in the top right as you said so this game is compatible it is track is compatible gta is compatible rocket league is compatible you're gonna see all the uh, uh, stuff so if you just go right here so if you just go to the pubg you're gonna see it will say keyboard but with this game you can actually control it using this and also on the ds4 uh, windows there's a, a setting you can change to is this a, as a controller a, a, that is also pretty cool so i guess so that is it for this quick video now uh, you're gonna see a quick little gameplay using this controller so enjoy <laughs> Like this, make it not like this, make it drop 
if you guys enjoyed this video then make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you need to my channel and to save a, a video just like this make sure you comment down below and see you guys next video then peace out